Late as usual, Braddock. I lost my watch. You sold your watch to me. Then give it back. I won't be late again. Braddock? I lost my watch, sir. I want to contact Checkmate King. Give me Captain Harper. Yes, sir. You got Captain Harper yet? The, the radio don't work, sir. Why doesn't it work? Well, the, uh, the batteries seem to be dead, sir. The batteries were dead yesterday. Didn't you get some new ones from supply like I told you to? Yes, sir. I picked up some new ones, but it seems to be that... Uh... Well, then why doesn't the... What do you want, Bialis? Yeah, what do you want, Bialis? Nothing, sir. Nothing. 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 Hey, aren't you... Aren't you Lieutenant Booker's runner? Yes, sir. First platoon. They wanted to start running. Can't you see the lieutenant is very busy? Do you have a message from Lieutenant Booker? No, no, sir. No. No. No message. Then what do you... Then what are you doing out of your platoon area? Yeah, what are you doing out of your platoon area? I asked you a question, soldier. I came over to see Braddock, sir. How do you like that, Lieutenant? Right in the middle of the war, he came to pay a social call. Go on, beat it, beat it. Not that I get my rations back. Rations? What are you talking about? What rations? I traded you nine good boxes of care rations for these crummy batteries. Where are the rations? They're in my... Foxhole, sir. Go get him on the double Bialis and get your tail back to your platoon area. Yes, sir. And make sure that's all you take, otherwise you and I are going to bump heads. Right? Yes, sir. So you traded some good batteries for some K-ration, huh? Oh, no, sir. No, sir? What are these? These are dead batteries, sir. I tried them, but I'd never take uh, good batteries, sir. You mean you conned him out of K-rations for some dead batteries? Well, it's like they say, sir. You can't cheat an honest man. That's what they say. I don't know whether you ever heard him say that, sir, but I... Braddock, you are very clever. Well, <laughs> thank you, sir. Thinking all the time, aren't you? Well, I, I try, sir. Do you like being my runner, or would you rather go back in the line with your squad? Well, I'd like to be where I'm most valuable to the platoon, sir. Where do you think that is, Braddock? Well, it's for the lieutenant to decide. No, I want you to decide this one. I don't understand, sir. Very simple. Do you think you ought to be here as my runner? Or do you think you ought to be back in the line with your squad? Where do you think you'll be of the most value? Well, I'd like to be your runner, sir. Good. Oh, yes, sir. Now, here's our situation. Yes, sir. We're stuck here. We can't go forward and we can't go back. I have to advise company. We can't use the telephone because the line isn't in yet. And we can't use the radio because the batteries are dead. The batteries are dead on the radio, sir. Well, that only leaves me one thing to do, and that is... Send a runner. Uh, oh, I, I think I see what you mean, sir. You, you mean send a runner. You're very smart, Braddock. You're going to go far. You mean I'm going to go far in the Army, sir, or do you mean that I'm going to go far through that rough area back to company? Well, whichever way you do it, you're going to find an easy way. Now, you've got ten minutes to get ready to get out of here. I'll draw an overlay of our position. Listen, if the lieutenant would prefer, sir, I'd go back to my squad. If it'll help you out, sir, I mean... You've got ten minutes, Braddock. Me and my big mouth. You and your big mouth who? Me and my big mouth, sir. Me and my big mouth, sir. Combat. A Selmer production. Okay. It's that mouthful. 
full of mud. How is it out there? Not a prayer. They dug in deep? Well, Tan, they've had four years to dig. Armor won't help. Tanks won't have a chance. We can't get in the air until this soup clears. I heard we captured a, a crowd colonel. Is that true, Lieutenant? Yeah, Colonel Hoffman. Well, maybe I still can get something out of it. They haven't yet. Well, why don't we pull back? The last word from company was no, and I hope it stays that way. The crowds can't get any height with their 88s except to harass us. If we pull back any further, they slaughter us. Now they're lobbing anti-aircraft shells straight up. Jeez, huh? Oh, who's there? Braddock, second platoon. With a message for Captain Harper. Approach and give the password. Approach and give the password. Queen's Knight. Huh? Where... How long have you been in combat, kid? Ever since yesterday. Ever since yesterday? You know you stand guard like that and you won't live to see tomorrow? You gotta dig a hole or climb a tree. And you gotta make sure that you spot them before they spot you. For taste? Yes, sir. Is Captain Harper inside? Yes, sir. Go right in, sir. Thanks. Yes, sir. I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, I'm not a sir. Been in combat one day, huh? Captain, sir. Private Braddock, second platoon. Braddock. Well, one day never cease. At ease. Thanks, sir. How'd you ever manage to get yourself saddled with a dirty detail? I volunteered, sir. No, don't hand me that. The only thing you ever volunteered for was a three-day pass. Yes, sir. Okay, what have you got? How's the platoon? We got plenty of trouble, sir. They're loving anti-aircraft shells in on us. Here's an overlay of our position. We can't move forward, we can't move back. We gotta dig in. Lieutenant Hanley wants you to know right about, right about here, sir, and we need help. Check my king, Lieutenant. Okay, we'll do what we can. Yes, sir. Are you gonna send some air, sir? Yes, sir. Airplanes yes, can't fly in the fog, Brad. Hadn't you heard? Yes, sir. That'll be all. That was battalion, sir. We have to send over a driver for Colonel Clyde. This company's not in the business of supplying Colonel Clyde with drivers. Uh, shall I tell the battalion that, sir? No. The colonel wants to inspect our positions personally. He wants a man from our lines who knows our positions exactly. Just for a day or so. Oh, look, Kelligrew, I don't have anybody I can send him. The whole company's up in the line. I've only got a skeleton crew here. I used to drive a cab in Chicago, sir. You get back to your platoon, Braddock, as soon as possible. And I know all the company positions, too, sir. How? Well, I'm Lieutenant Hanley's runner. I've been to them all. The idea of driving Colonel Clyde around appeal to you? No, sir. It sounds quite dangerous, sir. Then why are you bidding for this detail? Well, I want to be where I can be of most value to the company, sir. Well, how about it, Captain? All right, go ahead, send him. I'll notify Ann and we preempted his boy. Come on. Braddock. Yes, sir. Someday when we both have more time, I'd like you to explain something to me. Oh, I'd like that, sir. I'd like to explain something, sir. I'd like to spend some time with you, sir. I'd like to know how you always manage to get dumped into a trough full of sheep dip and come up smelling like Napoleon brandy. Yes, sir. K Company. Captain Harper told me to report to Colonel Clyde on the double. I'm his new driver. Well, where you been, Braddock? The Colonel's been screaming. 
I'd have stop at supply and get some stuff. Well, the colonel will be ready to go in about 30 minutes. You better get cleaned up. Maybe you better get a new uniform. Corporal, show Braddock here with a shower point. This see, he gets a new issue and see that he gets back here in 30 minutes. Try it, Walter! Did you hear me calling you, Sergeant? Yes. Well, when I call you, I expect you to respond then, not a week later. Yes. Sergeant, when they moved my field desk in there, there were 36 cigars in the lower left-hand drawer, right? Yes, sir. There are only 35 cigars in the lower left-hand drawer now. Yes, sir. How do you account for it? Did you count the one you're smoking, sir? Thank you, Sergeant. What is that? That's your new driver, sir. We're losing the war. I don't care what GHQ says, we're losing the war. What's your name, soldier? Soldier Bra 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 uh, Sir Braddock, sir. Sir Braddock? What are you, some kind of a knight or something? No, sir, private, private, private Braddock. I'm a private. What do you got in your legs? Those are bad, sir. Camouflage. Who are you hiding from us? We're losing the war. I don't care what they say. Sergeant, what happened to Colonel Clyde's other driver? Forget I ask. I don't even want to know. Sergeant Wilson, what's everybody standing around sucking on a prune pit for? Where's the driver? I'm he's, ready. Uh, he's almost ready, sir. Got my cigars. I'll get them. You don't know where they are. I moved them. I'll get them. And that driver better be here when I get back, or you'll be driving me. Yes. Braddock! What's the matter with you, Braddock? You trying to get us both killed? I'm ready. I'm ready, Sergeant. Hustle, hustle. What's the matter with you? What's his hurry? Come on, hustle, hustle. I'm going to the matter with you. It's always like this. Ah. Oh, we made it. Hey, I gotta go back. I forgot my stuff. What stuff? What stuff? My dog tags, my wallet, everything's in there. You stay right here, Braddock. I'll get it. You stay right here. You got it? I got it. You'll get it. You'll get it. I got it. I feel like I had it. Braddock, you look a little more like a soldier now. Thank you, sir. Well, come on, you're gonna stand around sucking on a prune pit all day? Let's go! Yes, sir. Move over, I'll drive. Huh? What did you say, soldier? Huh, sir? I said move over, I'll drive. Yes, sir. Yeah, I just love to drive. Used to race a little before the war, mostly midgets. You ever drive a midget? That they wouldn't drive with me, sir. Sorry, sir.
That K Company down there? Yes, sir. What company are you with? K Company, sir. Would you like to be down there? Well, sir, I'd like to be where I'm most valuable to. Well, yes, sir, I'd like to be back with K Company, sir. All right, let's move out. Sneezing, sir. I know you're Ouch. sneezing. I want to know why. I think it's a draft, sir. Ouch. Take my coat. No, no, no. I said take my coat. Yes, sir. All right. Get one, Chief. Ouch. <laughs> Okay, Fritz, you got me. I'm not going to argue. Ich muss informieren, dass Sie mein Gefangene sind. You guys sure are a form a lot. What's the scoop? What's next? Sie müssen mit mir kommen zu meiner Company. Listen, I'm, I'm all alone. Uh, there's nobody else here with me. Why don't we get out of here before it gets dark? I'm alone. Come pray, venu. Listen, I don't have any uh, any beads or salt, but uh, would guys like a stogie? Ah, so erlauben Sie mir, Herr Oberst. Say, you know something? I got you guys all wrong. You got wonderful manners. Say, if you treat me this good, what would you do for an... Oh, no, you guys got the wrong idea. I'm a private. I'm no officer. I'm a buck private. Private Braddock. Serial number 31326933. Listen, you got the wrong idea. Yeah, it's a terrible mistake. I'm no officer. Listen, I'm a private. No, I'm a gold face. I'm a dog face. I don't even like officers. Listen, you guys. Serial number 31326933. Listen, you listen to me. I'm a private. Leutnant! Herr Orban, kommen Sie, Mann! Kommen Sie her, bitte! Look, doesn't somebody around here speak English? I'm a private. You guys are going to get me court-martialed for impersonating an officer. Herr Hauptmann, wir haben diesen Nobis in Sektor 3874 gefangen genommen. Sehr gut, Gefeierter, sehr gut. I am Captain Gunnermann, Colonel. May I have your name? Yes, sir. I'm glad somebody speaks English around here. That's been a terrible mistake. I'm a private. I'm no colonel. I do not understand. You see, I borrowed this coat. The colonel owned it to me when I was sneezing. And I must have picked up his helmet by mistake when we turned over trying to miss that cow in the road. Was sagt er? Ich kann ihn nicht völlig verstehen. Ich glaube, er versucht zu erklären, dass er kein colonel ist. Sir, you will be treated with all respect due to your rank under the conditions of the Geneva Convention. And I must have your name. Braddock. Buck Private Braddock, serial number 31326933. I'm a Buck Private Braddock. What's so funny? What are you laughing at? 
<laughs> you Americans have quite a sense of humor. We have captured many enlisted men who claim to be officers hoping for better treatment. But you are the first officer who claimed to be an enlisted man. I am. Private Braddock. I was Colonel Clyde's driver. Was war die Ursache der Gefangennahme des Colonel Gefreiter? Er well, lag unbewusst am Bestasse. De, de, dein Wagen, uh, Ubis, Sir? Ich danke Ihnen, Gefreiter. Ich werde danach sehen, dass Sie ausgezeichnet werden. Sie können jetzt zurück zu Ihren Leuten gehen. Jawohl, Herr Hauptmann. Vielen Dank, Herr Hauptmann. Sehr gerne, Herr Oberst. Yeah, yeah, okay, Charlie, yeah. Would you like to have a seat, Colonel? Oh, yeah. Einen Stuhl für den Colonel, bitte. Leutnant Schiller, rufen Sie das Bataillon an und fragen Sie, was mit den Gefangenen gemacht werden soll. Jawohl, Herr Hauptmann. Hey, would you like a cigar? Yeah, the Colonel's are pretty good, too. Thank you, sir, but I do not smoke. Do you sit? Will you sit down? You're making me nervous. Yes, sir. Hey, will you knock off that, sir, stuff? You know every time you call me that, I think Colonel Clyde is standing behind me. You still don't believe me, do you? It makes no difference if I believe you. You may be a private, you may be a colonel. Others will decide. As long as you're in my charge, I shall treat you as a colonel. Would you like to have something to eat, Colonel? Some food? Well, I might as well give in. Nobody believes me here. Yeah, I'd like some food. And uh, listen, while you're at it, I'd like some of that cognac. I understand that you guys cornered a market on this stuff. It is cognac. Yes, sir. Cognac. I always thought it was cognac. <laughs> Yet. Not yet. Why does that man continually have to run around near the front lines in that hopped up Jeep? I think he likes it, sir. Don't tell me he likes it, Sergeant. I've known Froggy Clark for 15 years. If it's fast, he likes it. Yes, sir, I know, sir. But he's still the best fighting soldier you'll ever see. Yes. Right. When was he due back? Two hours ago, sir. Mm -hmm. Being an officer isn't half bad. And neither is this food. I'd like to capture your cook. Jawohl. Ich werde den Hauptmann sofort zahlen. Gut. Sie wollen, dass der Oberst sofort wieder geschützt wird. Und dass Sie, Herr Hauptmann, sollen ihm persönlich zurücktragen. Haben wir einen Wagen hier? Ja, den haben wir. Halten Sie ihn bereit, ich möchte so bald als möglich gehen. Gut. Was werden wir mit den anderen Gefangenen tun? Machen Sie sich fertig zum Marsch. Nehmen Sie mit uns zurück. Ganz gut, Herr Hauptmann. What was that all about? We are going to take you and the other prisoners back to regiment. Other prisoners? How come I haven't been with them? Why are you keeping me separated? The others are enlisted men, Colonel. So am I. I keep on telling you that. All right, Colonel. We must go now. You may have the cognac. You may take it with you if you like. Yeah, I'd like. Oh, no. There, here. Here, out. Out here. Here. Out. Achtung, Americana. At ease, man. Hey, Colonel, how about getting these guys to feed us? Sei ruhig, Sie haben keine... Tell your boy to knock it off, Captain. Das ist schon recht, Gefreiter. You mean you haven't been fed today? Not today. Only once yesterday. Yeah, a box of K rations seem like a feast right now, huh? How about that? You fed me pretty well. You are an officer. A field grade officer at that. These men are enlisted men. Don't you feed your enlisted men? Of course. But according to the Geneva... Don't stand around sucking on a prune pit! I want these men fed and I want them fed right now! Do you understand? They were supposed to be fed... This right morning. now, otherwise I don't move! Well! 
Sehen Sie, dass die Gefangenen etwas zu essen haben, Leutnant. Gefreite Hauser. Jawohl. Zu Wort essen für diese Männer. Jawohl, Herr Leutnant. Rolf, packe die Gefangenen. Hey, We're prisoners of war. Of course, we don't have to let them mistreat us, do we? No, no sir. sir. Sure Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Captain. Ben, how long has it been since you tasted real cognac? Herr Hauptmann, Sie sollen nicht den Gefangenen erlauben, etwas zu trinken. Is there a problem, Captain? It is not customary to serve cognac to prisoners, Colonel. You served it to me. We breaking the customs today, Captain? <laughs> Here's to the Colonel. What is your name, sir? Colonel Clyde. Well, here's to Colonel Clyde. <laughs> Colonel Clyde. Well, don't stand around sucking on a prune pit. If we're gonna move, let's move. Ich werde vor Anbruch danach zurück sein. Jawohl, Herr Hauptmann. Colonel. Hold it! Wait a minute! Stop the car! You mean those men are walking while I'm gonna ride? There's not enough room for them in the guards. Well, make room, otherwise I walk too. I cannot allow that, sir. Captain, I'm not riding unless my men ride. Checkmate, this is Checkmate King, Captain Harper speaking. Ask Colonel Nashby has a minute, it's very important. Yes, sir, he's in Colonel Clyde's office. Hang on, I'll get him. You're dead sure it was a colonel? Yes, sir, I seen him myself through the glasses. He was a colonel, all right. Colonel Clyde, could it have been Colonel Clyde? All I know is it was a colonel, sir. Colonel Nashby, Captain Harper, K Company, want you to feel for me. Thank you, Sergeant. This is Colonel Nash. Uh, this is Captain Harper, K Company, sir. Yes, Captain, go ahead. Uh, one of our patrols just came in, sir. They reported spotting a German patrol with a prisoner. They think it was a colonel. Now, is that possible? I knew it. I knew it! Sooner or later, he was bound to drive right into their laps. I beg your pardon, sir? Oh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Listen, are they sure it was a full colonel? Are you sure it was a full colonel? Yes, sir. I saw him through the glasses. We would have tried to take him, but we yeah, were They afraid... say they're sure, sir. Now, could it have been... Uh... Yes, it could have been, and undoubtedly it was. Colonel Clyde. What can we do, sir? Nothing! There's nothing we can do! Send your patrol lead over to S2 for interrogation. Yes, sir. Now, don't spread this around, you hear? I don't want any rumors out until we're absolutely sure. Roger, we won't say a thing. No. Well, he did it, Sergeant. He finally did it. Don't worry, man. You'll be well taken care of. I'll see you. Thank you, sir. We will go upstairs, Colonel. Lead on. I'll say one thing for you, Captain. You got a nice looking army. And a lot of them. Ah, the Colonel who wants 
to be a private. Come in, come in. Welcome. Listen, Colonel, there's a thing or two I want to tell you about the captain here, the way he treats prisoners. There's plenty of time for that. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Colonel Metz, M-E-T-Z. And you are? Colonel Clyde, C-L-Y-D-E. Oh. <laughs> no longer Private Braddock. No, I tried to put something over on the captain here, but he was too smart for me. I see. <laughs> well, sit down, Colonel. Thank you. Bitten Sie my hearts now, Ryan. You will over. So forth. Cigarette, Colonel? No, thanks. I have a cigar here. Oh, I forgot. We have heard that the notorious Froggy Clyde is quite a cigar smoker. You heard about me, huh? We know quite a bit about Colonel Clyde. Tell me, where do you get such fine cigars over here? I brought them over myself. Cases of them. Do you know I got a sergeant that does nothing but look after my cigars? <laughs> Am I Rotzner? This is Colonel Clyde. Major Rotzner is our intelligence officer. So you guys run your army the same way we run ours? A little more efficiently, I trust. Do you have any identification on you? Just my cigar. Identification tags. May I see them, please? I left them in the shower. What was your mother's maiden name? My mother's still alive. What is your mother's maiden name? Look, Colonel, if this junior officer is going to give me the third degree, you tell him to call me sir. Major Rotzner. What is your mother's maiden name, sir? I don't want to bring my mother into this. You want to ask me questions? Ask them about me. And I don't have to answer anything but my name, rank, and serial number. I'm afraid he's right. Will you excuse us for a moment? Go ahead, I got no place to go. Major Hartzner, glauben Sie, dass dieser Clown ein amerikanischer Offizier ist? Nein, niemals. Wenn der ein Offizier ist, hätten wir den Krieg schon längst gewonnen. Ach, mein guter Mann. Nein, keine Chance. Er ist ein Gefreiter. Ach, mein König. Ich glaube es nicht, der August. <lacht> Oder halten wir uns ein bisschen länger mit ihm? Ich habe eine Idee. Well, Colonel, we are convinced that you are who you say you are. Okay, now how about some food? And see that my men are fed. In a moment. We understand that your regiment is holding our Colonel Hoffmann and his aide prisoner. I, uh, I heard something about it. Heard something about it? You mean you were not personally concerned with the capture of such a high-ranking German officer? What's one colonel, more or less? And besides, this war's gonna be won by the foot soldiers. You think your army feels that way about you? They can get along without me. I was thinking perhaps we could try to make an exchange. You, for Colonel Hoffman. They wouldn't go for that. They don't need me that much. No, they don't need you that much. But they need Colonel Clyde that much. Don't they? Private Braddock. Okay, okay. But the only reason why I was acting like the colonel is because I thought I'd get better treatment for the other men. We are glad you did. You have given us an idea. Perhaps we can use you to get Colonel Hoffman back. Listen, they won't trade me for a seasick sailor. Colonel, you don't know, but you're looking at the original gold brick. Major Arthur, you think it's possible? If Captain Gunnerman's assumption is correct, I think it's worth a gamble. Gamble with me? Listen, I know my rights. I'm no colonel, but... Shut up! Yes, sir. Captain Gunnerman? When the patrol found him, he was alone. His car had been wrecked in the river. I believe Colonel Clyde was thrown in the river and killed. I was alone. I stole the jeep and I stole the colonel's clothes. That's when I threw my dog tags away. I was going over the hill. Private Braddock. Yes, sir. Do not talk. Yes, sir. Major? If that's true, the Americans may believe we have, Colonel Clyde. The other prisoners believe it. 
We should send one of them back with the terms of the exchange. Major Ratzner, have them send me one of the American prisoners. And see that the Colonel, he has extended all the courtesies due to his rank. You mean I was promoted again? Temporarily. Braddock got through, he can't get back. And the company can't get back to help us. Can we pull back, Lieutenant? Eventually, they'll get the range on us, and that'll be it. <laughs> They've got the only retreat area covered with artillery. We'd be lucky if one out of ten of us made it. So? So we dig in deep and wait. Lieutenant! The soldier here. He came right through the hole. I picked him up my guard post. Behind the German lines? That's yeah. right. Yeah. What's your outfit, soldier? G Company. But I've been a prisoner over there for about four days now. How'd you get away? Oh, there's the Germans. They escorted me up here. I, uh, they gave me a message to give to a regiment, sir. Look, it's pretty important. Could you show me how to get there? All right. What's your message? Well, I'm only supposed to tell regiments, sir. What regiment? 361st. Code name? Check me. Where were you inducted, soldier? Fort Leavenworth. Fort Leavenworth where? Kansas. Where'd you go on pass? Uh, what, do you, what do you mean pass? When? Pass, pass. Where'd you go on your weekends? Oh, well, usually Kansas City. Kansas City where? Missouri. All right, Saunders. Have one of your men escort him back to check me. All right, Lieutenant. Okay, okay soldier, this way. Come on. Are you sure it's Colonel Clyde they've got? Well, from everything I ever heard of Colonel Clyde, sir, this was him. Yes, sir. What did he look like? Well, like a colonel. <laughs> he sure told those crots off, I'll tell you that. Yes, and uh, he always went around with a cigar stuck in his face. That's the colonel. All right, Linsky, let's have it again. What exactly do they want us to do? They'll trade Colonel Clyde and, and the other prisoners they have, which is two GIs, for Colonel Hoffman and his aide, sir. That's ridiculous. It's out of the question. I have to go through division and it take... Sergeant Wilson, get my cigars. Colonel. Well, don't just stand there sucking on a prune pit. Get my cigars. Where are they? I don't know where they are, Colonel. You moved them, remember? That's right, Sergeant. Oh, what's the big powwow? What's everybody staring at me for? <laughs> oh, well, Froggy, we, uh, we thought you were a prisoner. What's the matter with you, Sam? I haven't got time to be a prisoner. I got a war to fight. I lost my jeep, too. We've got to get another one souped up right away. Yes. Uh, th this is Colonel Clyde? This is Colonel Clyde. All right, spit it out. Well, uh, this soldier was being held prisoner by the Germans. They also had a colonel. One of our patrols reported seeing the Germans leading a colonel over to their lines, and uh, since you were missing, we assumed it was you. Well, there was some wrong, Sam. Well, they've got some colonel, sir. Well, where did they get them? You think colonels grow on trees? Any colonel been reported missing? Only you, sir. Hey, that driver I had, uh, uh, Braddock, he show up yet? No, sir. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get the joke, colonel. Uh, of course you don't, Sam, because you got no imagination. They got Braddock! He had on my coat. He had a cold. This, uh, this colonel, did he look kind of... Puffy, have a long jaw, have a dumb look about him. He looked like a colonel to me. You mean yes, don't you, son? Yes, sir. How did he get loose? They sent him back with a message. They want to exchange you for Colonel Hoffman. <laughs> Braddock must have really convinced him he was you. He couldn't convince him he was a sergeant. Thank you, sir. Well, they're a little hard-headed, but they're not stupid. They're really trying to pull a fast one. Get a colonel back for a private. What have the arrangements been so far? Well, uh, if we agreed to the exchange, sir, we were to send up three flares at 0400, and then they'd uh, call a ceasefire at dawn. 
And then they were going to send you or whoever it is over there. And the other two prisoners back to us, and then we were to send Colonel Hoffman and his aide back, sir. Sam, notify K Company to pull back a half a mile to their left flank at dawn when the ceasefire is on. You're not going to go through with this, Colonel. Yes, I'm going to go through with it, Colonel. Company K will be able to cut them off when they advance tomorrow. How do you know they're going to make an advance tomorrow? Because they're going to be madder than a fat man with a broken tooth at an ice cream social. Get me Colonel Huffman. Come on up, Froggy. You're not actually going to exchange a colonel for a private. Sam, I'm not going to trade a colonel for a private. I want you to get Colonel Huffman's uniform and his aide's uniform. Tell them they're going to be cleaned or something. And then get me a couple of kraut privates. Yes, This is going to be the most ridiculous battlefield exchange of prisoners since the Civil War. <laughs> Colonel? Right here. Ich weiß nicht, was die von uns wollen. Die wollen uns in die Falle locken. Knock it off, Soldier. There it is, Colonel. Answer back. Hey, Soldier, die raus! Court-martial, sir? For what? For impersonating an officer. You, sir. Well, no, I don't know. It's according to how well you did. Huh? What did you say, soldier? Huh, sir? Show me. Show you? Show you, sir? That's right. Show me. Right now? Right here? Right here. Sergeant Wilson! Get these two men back to the field kitchen. Get them something neat on a double. They haven't had a decent K-ration in two weeks. Yes. Don't stand around sucking on prune pits, Colonel. There's a war to be won. I want to tell you something. I'm sorry, sir. It'd never stand up in court, Braddock. Thank you, sir. All right, now let's get a move on. You're still my driver. Let's get back to S2. Sir, I don't feel up to it, sir. They didn't treat us too well back there. And, sir, could you please get somebody else? You mean you don't feel very well? No, sir, I don't feel well. Oh, in that case, I'll drive. Now, who do you think you're saluting, soldier? Both of them, sir. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 